हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मेघा एंड टूरिस्ट टॉपिक इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर जर्नी टू द एंड ऑफ द अर्थ एंड फर्स्ट यू आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज सम ऑफ द मेन पॉइंट्स ऑफ पार्ट वन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो द मेन पॉइंट्स दैट आर आल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम जी के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दीज आर नेम द सिंगल लैंड मार्स एग्जिस्टेड बिफोर बिलियन ऑफ ईयर्स अगो पेंजिया In which era did Pangaea break up? Two hundred million years ago. Name the land masses that made up from Pangaea. Single land masses, two land masses, बने थे, and those were Gondwana and Laurasia. Which continents were a part of Gondwana land? Africa, South America, Australia, Antarctica, and the Indian subcontinent. Which is the southernmost continent? Antarctica. Which is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent? Again, it is Antarctica. The title "Journey to the End of the Earth" has more than one meaning. It describes an educational journey to Antarctica. undertaken by a group of high school students the name of this program was student on ice and it's written by tishani doshi a south indian woman and in this piece of writing she is describing her journey to the coldest continent of the earth that is antarctica human civilization on earth is about 12000 years old and in this short period of time humans have managed to exploit each and every resource thereby creating a chaos in the nature we are trying to dominate the nature with our villages towns cities and mega cities the rapid increase of human populations has left us battling with other species for limited resources With his dominance over nature, man is using the resources blindly to fulfill his need and to satisfy his greed. Human population is robbing other species of the necessities for survival. And yes, not to forget about the unlimited exploitation of fossil fuels that have created a blanket of carbon dioxide around our planet, which is further increasing the average global temperature. does leading to global warming aaj ke time mein jo most hot topic of debate hai wo hai climate change will the west antarctic ice sheet melt entirely ke global warming se jo antarctic sheet hai wo puri melt ho jayegi will the gulf stream ocean current be disrupted ya fir jo gulf stream ocean current hai wo disrupt ho jayenge will it be the end of the world as we know it maybe maybe not either way antarctica is a crucial element in this debate not just because it's the only place in the world which has never sustained a human population and therefore remains relatively pristine in this respect but more importantly because it holds in its ice cores half million year old carbon records trapped in its layers of ice If we want to study and examine the earth's past, present and future, Antarctica is the place to go. Ab global warming hone se kya hoga ki jo ice sheets hai wo melt ho jayegi. Melt ho rahi hai. Aur iske alawa ice sheet melt hone se jo sea level hai wo increase honge. Sea level increase hone se jo coastal area hai that will be submerged under water wo pani ke andar doob jayenge ab sirf uh, flooding ya fir melting of ice yahi global warming ke impact nahi hai balki iske alawa global warming ke impact temperature rises water shortage drought and storm ye sabhi uh, global warming ke effect hai and antarctica is the best place to study about the earth's present past and future not because there is no human population but because of the age old carbon records trapped under its ice aur hum sabhi jante hain ki antarctica ice is very old aur ye layers mein bani hui hai the deeper you go the older the ice 
यदि हम अंटार्कटिक आइस को ड्रिल करते हैं काफी डीप तो इट प्रोवाइड द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड व्हेन द आइस वाज डिपॉजिट आइस जब डिपॉजिट होती है तो उसके अंदर कार्बन के कुछ बबल्स रह जाते हैं और जब वो आइस निकाली जाती है ड्रिल करके तो उन बबल्स को उन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड को आइस से एक्सट्रैक्ट किया जाता है और हमें तब उस वक्त के टेम्परेचर का पता लगता है दस बाय स्टडिंग द अंटार्कटिक आइस वी कैन नो अबाउट द पास्ट टेम्परेचर वी कैन नो अबाउट द टेम्परेचर ऑफ दैट टाइम एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑथर इफ वन विशेज टू स्टडी एंड एनालाइज अर्थ पास्ट प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर अंटार्कटिक इज द प्लेस टू गो द प्रोग्राम students on ice in which the author was working aims to do exactly this by taking high school students to the ends of the world and providing them with inspiring educational opportunities which will help them foster a new understanding and respect for our planet this program was headed by canadian geoff green and with students on ice he offers the future generation of policy makers a life changing experience at an age when they are ready to absorb learn and most importantly act the program has been immensely successful in implementing its vision by the way people get affected by seeing the real scenario because it's very easy to sit at home and talk about real issues but actually seeing glaciers retreating and ice shelves collapsing it gives you a glimpse into the future and it tells you that the very threat of global warming is real apne gharon mein comfort zone mein reh kar cheezon par comment karna kafi easy hota hai lekin jab hum wahan par visibly when we see glaciers retreating and ice shelves collapsing hum realize karne lag jate hain ki jo global warming ki threat hai it's very real and who knows if antarctica will be warm again and even if it does will we be alive to see it with this i end the second part of my chapter see you soon in the next part till then stay safe and stay healthy jai hind